who works in the clinch all the time? Okay, Thai boxing. All right, so we had this in the clinch in, Thai, in JKD because of Dan Inosanto. He put in the Thai boxing. Excellent. This is very functional. This works very well. Now, what other combat sport where they actually use resistance all the time? What other combat sport works in the clinch consistently? Greco-Roman wrestling. Greco-Roman wrestling, everything is in here. It's in the clinch, they're working in here. They're not allowed to grab at the legs. That means all of this upper body work becomes very, very good because of all the resistance. So, we have to look at all these things. Just to give you a few ideas, okay? Again, we just don't have time to go over everything. A few ideas from here. This is a very good place to start because it's easy to grab the head. Now, from JKD, uh, Kali, and things like this, Sila, we have a few things. For example, from Kali, we want to use whatever fighting art we can, right? Okay, here's Thai boxing. Maybe I'm going here. Maybe he's strong, I feel. I move back here, okay? Maybe if I'm here, he starts punching me, okay? Ugh. I go back here. I can grab the hair. He's out of range. Okay, if he tries to punch, see, I have him here. I can control him. I have many different things. I can take him straight to the ground. Okay, he comes back up. I can also do what? I can maybe turn him. Now I'm behind him. Look, boom. I can take him to the ground here also. Okay, now from Greco Roman, if I'm here, turn a little bit. Maybe I go to knee and he blocks. Okay. So sure, I have the clinch, but it's not doing me any good because he's blocking. Okay, there's an arm drag. Arm goes inside, I pull, and I get to the back. Okay, I'm talking now, but in reality, my head is down. So if he tries to elbow, nothing. Okay, I can then think like this to take down, or since it's street, what can I do? Go to the groin, right? And that's your takedown. Very effective. <laughs> Okay, other techniques in here. One of our favorites, it's called the underhook, again from wrestling. And in here, I pull, and I get into this position here. Now this is not the bent arm lock. See where my hand is? He takes his arm out, go ahead and escape. Look how easy, go ahead and grab my neck this time. You see, see how easy to get out of this? I have to control that arm. If he's not resisting me, I can hold him all day, of course. I can hold him all day like this, if he's not resisting, okay? If he resists, go ahead, resist. See, how easy, see, comes out very fast. I need to really attack this arm. My hand is here, I grab, grab deep in here, make sure my elbow is up. If my elbow is down, he might do this. This is no good. Okay, I'm grabbing here, I'm keeping the shoulder down. I take my shoulder, I pinch, okay? Pinch right in here, why? If I don't, what do you think he's gonna do naturally? He's gonna grab my head, boom. I don't want that, <laughs> okay? So I pinch. When he goes to grab my head, it's much more difficult. Now what do I have to watch? He's gonna punch me, right? He's resisting. He's not gonna stand there for me. He's gonna try to hit me. Two ideas, one, either push the head far away, not like this. Go ahead and see if you can hit me. Yeah, he can hit me. I push his head far away, he can hit me now. Much more difficult, and now I can start working to the knees. The other idea is, if I can't push this away, because when they resist, he's going to take my hand off, maybe, or whatever. Okay, now I grab his, his arm. Okay, what do I do now? If I do this, if it's here, he's going to knee me right in the groin. Boom. I don't want that, so I, I keep it in here. So I block. If he knees the groin, no. Oh, I open it up. See? Usually, when you knee someone in the groin, they start to bend away from it, which opens up the knee to the face. Also, from here, I have ways to go to the back. This is one way. This is another way. Okay? When you get to the back, what do you have? If I go to the back, now I'm working into chokes. I have takedowns. 